Hey everyone, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez, coming at you today with a VV Omi update video. If you guys, if you're new, welcome. If not, welcome back. I love you all. I still cannot stand up. Everyone say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. Commenting, liking, subscribing is a free way to help support the channel. Non free ways are Patreon and smashing that super thanks button down below. Uh, become a member as well. Also, WraithX.DTH domain name. Uh, we'll start off with Omi here. Omi, uh, when it rains, it pours. Omi tends to not go up with the market when the rest of the market pumps. Uh, however, comma, the Omi will go down with the markets. Uh, Bitcoin down about 7.8% this week, Omi down about 12% this week. Bitcoin down about 2.3% on the day, Omi down about 3.4% on the day. Why is this exciting? Well, what happens if Bitcoin goes to like 15k again? I don't know. All I know is one of my buy orders failed last night. 161 million Omi. I will get more. Chavez, how can you get more? Well, I did say I was going back to work, didn't I? And I also said that originally I was going to stop buying Omi in order to get a third logo. That's when the Omi price was triple zero seven eight, and that's when the logo was about twenty seven hundred dollars. Now the price of Omi is about triple zero six five, and the logo is about thirty seven hundred dollars. So, uh, <laughs> you know, if I was I was willing to do one thing when the prices, you know, were, were, were a little bit different. And now, you know, not just one thing went down or one thing went up, both things happen to do that. So I not only will I probably not get a third logo, I will possibly uh, sell my one of my logos. Obviously, the number 41 is staying with me. Uh, if you really want to buy that for $69,420, uh, don't. <laughs> like, just, uh, that's just there to flex. Uh, it's just there for the memes. The... Yeah, the, the only thing that we're seeing now, um, everyone that has technical analysis is thinking, oh, it could go down to triple zero four. And sure, if Bitcoin goes down to 15K, I guess it could. Will it? I, I have no idea. All I know is I'd be stupid not to buy now. Again, this is me. This is not anyone else. Um, so, so that's what I might do. I'll keep you all posted uh, on what's going on. But if you're done, if you're out of the project, if you think, oh my God, this is, this is dumb. I can't help. I, uh, Omi has done nothing but go lower for two years. Let me be your exit liquidity. Sell me your Omi. If you have Omi on the app, I will I will pay you for that. Uh, so you know I'll give you the price of it plus an extra fifteen dollars because that's the type of guy I am. Anyway, moving on. There was a little bit of fud going on, and this is again this is not specific to Vivi. Um, it was going on in the Hero community because it happened to be that it looked like some of the members were able to buy cards and were able to buy uh, other things when the community was not. Uh, basically, the technical explanation is that when they were doing a final check before going live for their uh, for some of their cards, today what we weren't prepared for is once crafting was made live, the cards were not immediately available to the community. This is why I commented in Discord that it's live and ready, yet some of you reported you could not see it. We did not realize when the crafting event was made live, there would be a delay with catching that would only allow the hero members to buy cards, but not the community. So everyone was thinking like, oh, this is... Uh, the horrendous insider trading, it's just a mistake. It's the sa same thing that happens with just general, uh, just with people in general. Um, so like I said, it's, uh, I'm fine. I still love Hero. I just wanted to address that real quick because I'm swirling around. Anyway, uh, Market Pulse. So this is, doesn't necessarily look great for VV as far as if you're comparing VV to VV. Uh, this is from the VV Fox or at Rootless Girl over on Twitter. This is for the week of the 10th. We had 14,648 active wallets, which I think is pretty good, but we were down about 13% uh, week over week. The amount of trades were 29,000 trades of people uh, buying and selling to each other, which I think is also not bad, but again, down 7%. The amount of buyers were 5,300, so 5,388 people were buying, which again, I don't think too bad. I was definitely one of those people. However, uh, the amount week over week was down 18%. The amount of sellers, the amount of people that had gone and logged on and decided they wanted to sell, 7,665, which is down about 9.7%. The amount of tokens minted were 19,697, which again, not terrible, but we're down 21%. And the amount of individual minters, people going uh, to the market and actually minting from there was 10,542, which again, not bad, but down 18%. However, comma, there was 172 uh, merge accounts. The tokens transferred via the merge were 4,135. So, nice. That being said, we had Sergio Rodriguez report that uh, OpenSea's numbers, you had OpenSea, Blur, and Looks Rare, 
And all of those active users were not the same as Vivi's. Vivi had more active users out. Could you make the argument that, okay, well, that's talking about active users and that's week over week and not talking about the hundreds of thousands or millions of accounts that OpenSea, Learn, Luxor has combined, but they just weren't active? Yeah, you're probably right. Granted, you know, there's, we had 2 million accounts that were active at one point. Granted, a lot of the, half of those were bots. Uh, I think there was actually 682,000 individual wallets that, that had been active, I think, in the last six months or a year. Um, not including the 900,000 to a million that were inactive. But again, if you go and take a look at Sergio Rodriguez's Facebook posts, uh, you go and you take a look and you see that, yeah, for week over week, this is how, again, this is not specific to Vivi. This is how horribly the NFT markets in general have done. Um, but which ones are they in afloat? Seems to be Vivi. In my opinion, In the silver lining in that is that the people that, the companies that people are still buying from happens to be Vivi, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, speaking of trying to buy from Vivi, that is the screen that I got from uh, yesterday when I was trying to mint the death of Norman Osborn. Uh, but apparently thousands of people had that issue where they're like, hey, it glitched and I couldn't get on. Um, I don't know what that was. I don't think it was the uh, large amount of people that were trying to get it. I, I mean, I, it's 5,000 thing comic book, so yeah, everyone was going to try to get it, but and we won't see that until next week's Market Pulse, how many people are on there. I don't think more than, I don't know, 10,000 people uh, could try to get out. So I don't think it was a thing with the servers because there's six, uh, you know, those servers were made to hold like a couple million people. So 10,000 people shouldn't really be that big of an issue, uh, but comment down below if, you, if the same thing happened to you. We do have some words from Jeremy uh, Padower saying, I always felt Omi was the cornerstone of Vivi and Okomi. In my opinion, it required utility and purpose. It had a tremendous community behind it. It's been a wild ride. So I have Stevie V asking, are you selling up, uh, Jeremy? Jeremy says, selling up? Meaning, will I sell along the way if Omi increases in value? I'm not sure, but to date, I haven't sold a single Omi. I believe that Omi would be integrated deeply into the ecosystem. Again, when when Jeremy's being asked if he was going, if he's going to sell Omi on the way up, he says he's not sure. How I, how I don't know what price point he's going to think about selling, but to date, again, he has not sold a single Omi. Neither have I. Um, and Prosperity Now asks, do you still believe? I still believe. Sorry, Britney Spears reference. Uh, and Jeremy Padua saying, I'd say it's more hope, and hope isn't a plan, as a famous politician once said. I'd like to know very specifically what the next steps are for integrating Omi into the world of Vivi, timing, and to understand more about the current philosophy. So obviously with that, I had to quote tweet that because, you know, Jeremy being an early investor, early advisor, maybe might not know the ins and outs of what's going on currently. And if neither of you guys are, uh, if you're just stumbling upon this video, let me tell you, in the last Discord community update, or maybe two Discord community updates ago, they had mentioned that Q2, which is what we're in right now, uh, Omi to NFT was a Q2 priority. Now that does not mean that we're gonna get Omi to NFT in Q2. In fact, I'm gonna bet you that we don't. We're probably gonna get it in Q3. However, what, what does that mean? That means that you're gonna be able to go and use your Omi to buy other people's NFTs. And now, does that mean that, oh, hey, I'm gonna, uh, if I wanted to sell my Vivi logo for let's say $3,800, does that mean that I wouldn't get uh, gems. What if I just wanted gems? What if I didn't want Omi? Well, at that point, you would have to go and uh, you could choose which one you want to. Which one you want to? You could either choose to receive gems or choose to receive Omi. Now, I'm not sure if the person could pay with Omi anyway, and then it just converts to gems in the background. They haven't let us know that, so that's something that's kind of in the air right now. We're not sure. I would love that. Pay some extra fees. Get to get that. Let it burn. Now you're saying, well, Chavez, why would I want to pay extra fees to accept Omi or pay extra fees to accept these gems? Why would I want to do that? Well, do you want to pay, let's say, an extra three, four, five percent uh, to get it in Omi, or would you rather take the take the normal, you know, two and a half to eight and a half percent fees that it would take to sell anyway, and then cash out and then be charged another ten percent, where? In fact, I could just get, you know, I could pay those extra two and a half to eight and a half percent fees and then an extra 5% fee on top of that to sell an Omi. 
I would do that because that saves me an extra 5%. Because yeah, I pay more on the initial sale, but I don't pay anything to cash out because the gem cash out is significantly more. Again, it's double at 10%. And again, I don't know the actual numbers of what the fees are going to be or how they're going to do it, but it just goes to show, oh, hey, they're, they, they might try to incentivize you to use OMI. And that being said, I think it was the Dope Ryan or Mitch, one of those guys said they want uh, to see OMI as a first-class citizen inside the app, inside the VVverse. And, well, we're going to get the beta version of the VVverse this quarter. I mean, they said it was going to be in mid-April, but again, uh, this quarter at some point we'll get it. Uh, the rollout for the beta, uh, and then I think by Q4 we might get an exchange because we have the utility at Q3. An exchange probably isn't too far behind. Anyway, moving on. Platinum poster update. Donald Duck has 151 posters redeemed. Minnie Mouse 172, Dumbo 185, and Mickey Mouse 210. So Mickey Mouse obviously the most popular of them. Uh, I thought Minnie Mouse would be a little bit higher, but either way, pretty pumped for it. So Superstar Money had a a uh, poll yesterday saying, what is the most important soon to everyone? And the options were MCP full rollout, OUP full rollout, VVverse full rollout, or trading and or transfers. And uh, the most popular one was OUP full rollout, which I did not expect. I even voted for VVverse full rollout as well. Uh, but Kobe Collects had said, cash out for Canadians. Has VV official responded at all about this? I can't get an answer, reply, comment, acknowledgement anywhere. Maybe you can pull some strings. Vivi is very selective about who they respond to. Reverend Alex G, Mitch, are you able to provide any info? Uh, and Alex G had said, official updates will come from the official account. Nothing to further to report at this time. Unfortunately, we continue to work on additional options and hope that international payout can be re-enabled ASAP by the provider. Uh, and again, this does not fall on Vivi. This is wire. This is, you know, so... If we're going to blame anyone, which I don't think we should, it's just things that happen, but, you know, run away from Vivi. Anyway, uh, we had Ed Feely go out and post a video saying this is the way of collecting, where he had uh, Market Smart, Chris Severs, who had, uh, he had a whole panel of people, but Chris Severs is the one that uh, writes, I think, for, oh, I forget who he writes for. Um, but either way, he, they were just talking about his experience and comics and collectibles in general. And then David Yu had retweeted it saying, collectors have spent years and sometimes even decades on their hobbies, Vivi is at the beginning by offering a new medium. I mean, there are people like, remember that quote in The Dark Knight where the Joker is like hanging by like almost like a thread, but by one of Batman's strings. And he's like, oh, bats, I think we're destined to do this forever. In that same breath, I think many people on this VV app, some former collectors, some current, some... People might just be here, they think for a minute, but then it gets you. Some things are hard to sell. I think some people are destined to do this forever. Um, pass it on to their kids, collect until they flatline. At least that's what I'm doing anyway. Uh, also, I am in that current top 500 wallets. We should get that official update uh, early next week. Anyway, uh, the Dope Ryan goes and says, there's a common misconception that NFTs are bad for the environment due to excessive energy consumption. Although some of that is true for you know, decent amount of the world. However, comma, uh, contrary, contrary to this myth, VV has created 8.5 million NFTs using only 1,088 kilowatts per hour, uh, kilowatts of power. That's less energy than it takes to run your computer for a year. Uh, there's a whole article about it and basically, okay, why is, uh, the United States Postal Service having an Earth Day stamp via NFTs? A little ironic, but again, the whole article explains everything. Uh, I might read that at some point just because it's pretty heckin' cool. Also, Texas passed a bill requiring crypto exchanges to provide proof of reserves. Huzzah for Texas. Those of you that are just listening, I am uh, showing a picture of a room filled with artworks, filled with comic books, and it's an entire room dedicated to that. What better? What would be a better way to get all of these comic books? Well, not take up a whole room. That It would take up more than the amount of space that I have in my room. Uh, one of the best ways would be to go and collect comics on V. Paul Barron had made a post saying, Reminder, Disney Plus now has a shop tab. I wonder what this will inevitably lead to and what it won't lead to. And he does some hashtags of NFT, Metaverse, Disney Plus. And then he also hashtagged the VV fam, the VV community, the VVverse, and the dollar sign Omi. 
Now, you could make the argument like, okay, well, this is a specific partnership and maybe he's just trying to get a little bit more engagement on his posts. Or maybe he's speculating that the shop tab might be able to accept Omi. Again, if there's anything, if there's anyone that knows, like, why would it be him? Why would it be the Paul Barron network? I mean, he is, I think, the most major network that does cover us consistently. Um, I, I, again, I think that would be a little too wonderful. I want to do that mad TV skit. And I want to lower my expectations. Uh, God, if you had a Disney shop that accepted Omi, that would be, like, that's utility. That would be amazing. Anyway, moving on. Ah, that's it. Everyone, please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone say bye-bye to Dashi. Bye-bye, Dashi. I love you all. Class dismissed. Goodbye. Meow, 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 meow. My tummy still hurts.